Hello, Hello I'm Richard from SciRPG Studios, SciRPG.com, that's S-C-I-R-P-G.com. <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, showing you how to do a, uh, create a scout ship in for uh, Astrosynthesis 3 by uh, NBOS Software. Um, Astro Synthesis 3 isn't out yet, but uh, it's being created right now by Ed Diana. And uh, there should be some uh, testing of it, um, some beta testing in uh, March, uh, maybe April, I don't know, somewhere around there. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to create uh, models for it. And uh, the modeling that I'm going to be using is... Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to be using two modelers. I'll be using Hexagon 2.5. You can get that from uh, the Daz web website, <coughs> Daz Studio. And uh, <coughs> excuse me. Anyways, uh, I'll be using that, and uh, I'll also be using some True Space. Um, you can get True Space for free at uh, Caligari.com. Um, I'll be using TrueSpace 6.6 .6, though because uh, I prefer to have um, less stuff and less clutter on my interface. Um, I will also show you how to use 7.62 uh, so you can understand, you know, because 7.6 is a free free application. Um, I bought 6.6 .6 a long time ago. I got really used to using the interface in it. Um, 6.7 is almost the same, yeah, and you'll you'll see uh, how uh, similar it is to 6.6. .6. Um, so you can uh, you know, go on your own and uh, figure out how to how to use um, it by yourself. Anyways, um, I I like uh, the control snapping features in True Space um, better than Hexagon. Uh, but Hexagon has a lot of stuff in it that is just way, way better than, than True Space. I, I, Hexagon isn't free. Um, it costs a, a little bit of money. It's not very expensive at all. Um, but uh, um, I'm, I'm really not 100% used to using Hexagon, so uh, I, I started off in True Space way back in the like 1999 or something like that. And uh, I've gotten so used to using that interface quite a bit, and, and, uh, and I just like going back to it all the time. Um, the thing Hexagon does way better is uh, the mirroring, um, mirror modeling, um, converting your your uh, uh, your uh, mesh uh, properly for uh, an OBJ file. Um, what else? Um, and it does UV mapping way better than than uh, True Space does. Uh, True Space is oh, it's just it gives me a headache trying to do UV mapping and and trying to chop up your your mesh so that uh, um, your texture goes over top of your mesh, you know, properly. Um, hexagon is way way easier to use but you know it, it, there's there's a lot of tricks to using uh, the UV mapping tools in, in hexagon too so I'll show you how to use that um, true space has uh, some really neat uh, locking features uh, locking coordinates uh, so I'll show you how to lock the X Y and Z coordinates as you work on a model um, and, uh, and there's some tricks to, to using it. So um, it's a little different interface than, than Hexagon as far as you know manipulating the uh, the ma ma the uh, the polygons on the mesh. Um, and uh, then after uh, goofing around in uh, True Space for a bit, we'll go into Dog Waffle Five Pro and uh, a little bit of Zara Photo and Graphic Designer 6 to uh, create some textures to use for well not only this model that I'm going to be creating but uh, for all the models in Astrosynthesis 3 
um, what I'll do is I'll make a kind of a generic texture that can be used with um, you know from all the way from just doing this small scout, scout ship to fighters to uh, doing the big uh, battleships and the uh, space stations and stuff like that and it makes it a little easier for um, you know for modders to come in and uh, you know modify the textures so they know it's all going to be all basically in one spot and uh, they'll be able to uh, you know uh, fool around with that and create their own models and, and import uh, import their own modified textures and that sort of thing so it'll be uh, real interesting to uh, see you know what uh, other people come up with eventually I guess and uh, and uh, create their own kind of uh, neat textures and stuff um, then after creating the textures uh, we'll then go back into hexagon and use the UV mapper to apply all the textures to the model and uh, yeah it'll uh, finish off everything on on this so it'll be cool so uh, we'll see you then <laughs>